Hi guys and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today guys, as you can see by the title, we are making cruffins. And what are cruffins you may ask? They're a mix between a muffin and a croissant. We're so fancy over here. So yeah, you see that. Let's go ahead and get started. First up, we're gonna start with our crescent dough. Um, you're gonna go ahead and roll it out and you are gonna roll out both of them actually guys both of them will be rolled out I decided to use parchment paper Because I wanted easy cleanup just to be completely honest And so I'm flowering the rolling pin I put flour on my hands to flour the rolling pin just to make sure that it doesn't stick To the rolling pin the dough doesn't stick to the rolling pin And so I rolled out both of my crescent doughs one off camera one on camera so make sure you roll out both of them. Next up, we're gonna work on our cinnamon and sugar mixture. The measurements for this white sugar and the brown sugar and all of that will be listed down below. So I started with the white sugar and now we're gonna go ahead and add the brown sugar like you see me doing right here. And now we're gonna go ahead and add our cinnamon to the party like you see me doing right here. I'm adding the cinnamon to the sugars. Next up, I used my Ninja to mix up and combine all of the sugars and the cinnamon like you see me doing right here. You can just use the whisk. I chose to use this just to make sure everything was combined and that's how it looked. This right here, guys, is brown butter. You do need to have butter, but if you don't want to use brown butter, you can just use melted butter. If you want to use brown butter and don't know how to brown butter, you can go to my video that shows you how you can actually brown your butter. Use your brush here to spread it on like you see me doing right here. And now it's time to add your brown sugar mixture to the top of your crescent dough. Make sure that you do not use all of the butter or all of the cinnamon sugar because you're gonna need a little reserve for later for the top of your cruffin. And now that we've added the cinnamon and sugar, we're gonna go ahead and add the second layer of your crescent dough that, I, that you should have already rolled out, guys, based on what I said earlier in the video. And as you can see, I use parchment paper there, guys, because it makes it a lot easier again for that cleanup and for transferring. Now here you're gonna see me turn it vertically. That way you can um, easily cut it, guys. It's basically why, just so it can be easy to cut it, you can see. So I'm making my lines here. I do wanna mention that I did make them a little too thick for my liking, depending on how many you wanna make. So off camera, I did go in and add some more slices to it, as you can see here. But again, it's based on your preference. So yeah, if you want them thicker, keep them thicker. You just have less cruffins. If you want them thinner, do it that way. So then that way you have um, more cruffins. It's just based on what you're looking to make that day. So basically, um, now we're going to go ahead and oil our 10 cups. I did not even need to use all of the holes. I don't know why I sprayed every single one, but I did. If you don't have the flour one like I have there, use just the regular spray oil, or if you don't want to use oil, just oil it, with, oil it with oil, you guys. You know how to do that. So here I just wanted to show you from the beginning to the end of me rolling, and then from there I'm going to go ahead. I'm showing you that's how it should look. You want to roll it like that, and then place it in your muffin tin. Now that butter that I told you to keep on reserve, you're gonna go ahead and butter. So that's butter, guys, Just it's just brown butter. So now you're gonna go ahead and butter the tops of your cruffins, like you see me doing right here. And now we're gonna go ahead and add that leftover cinnamon and sugar to the top of these cruffins like you see me doing right here. Pretty explanatory. So yeah, this is how they look before you place them in the oven. That's how they look when they came out, guys. They're so delicious and easy, fun recipe for you to make with you and your family. And I just wanted you to see how the bottoms of it looks, guys. I don't know why, I just wanted you to see that. I chose to garnish mine with some powdered sugar. 
Guys, you can do a lot with this. You can use chocolate to garnish. You can use cream cheese frosting to garnish. Use whatever you like. I chose to make mine more simple because this is supposed to be a simple recipe, guys. So I enjoyed this. And as you can see, we're at the end of the video. Please be sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified. And until the next one, guys. Bye.